Hello there everybody and welcome to a new series here. This is called Trans Ocean the Shipping Company. Um, we're going to do the campaign here. Uh, it's a game I kind of uh, was actually going through the archives of uh, some past games. It's a game I played a while ago and it's just sparked my interest again so I decided I'd, uh, I'd do the campaign for you guys and we'll play through it here. Um, it is a really long game. Uh, I didn't get through too much of it. I ended up just uh, stopped playing before. So there's a lot of new stuff that I'll be able to see with you guys. But like I said, it's a really long game, so this could be a really long series. So I hope you guys enjoy that, and uh, here, let's get started here. Uh, I do remember this. Well, let's see, but I, uh, the load times on this game are a little long for whatever reason. Not, uh, not a fan of that. Alright, that load time's over now, so here we are, let's get started, let's see what's going on here. Alright, we have a message from an investor, Miss Lydia Blith-Smith. So I want to start a company, then you come to the right place. My name is Lydia Blith-Smith, I'm an investor. Your contract to be a contract appears to be in order. Alright, that's good. Hmm, you're hoping to launch a shipping company, even in these stormy economic times. Well, I admire your determination, and I'm prepared to back you with this 8.2 million, I'm going to say that's euros, maybe? I'm not really sure. Uh, it ought to keep your startup afloat. All right, we got uh, some money. Money, money, money. Money. All yeah, right, here, Mr. Haram T. Witherspoon is our consultant. Hi there, Witherspoon's my name, and I'm your consultant and advisor. We can make this thing work together, so what's our er, your shipping company going to be called? Let's call it I Vision C Trading. All one word. I like that. We are the I Vision C Trading Company. All right, and where's your little empire going to operate from? The first rule in our business, location, location, location. I put together a few suggestions for the location of our headquarters boss. Now please decide where our future empire is going to start from. All right, what we got here? We got a lot of places. Lisbon, Algiers. Uh, we got to remember like the class of port too it looks like um we you know we can see what they what these ships can handle uh the ultra i don't know what these i know panamax post panamax and new panamax they actually have different names from what i'm aware of for these things but we were just at lisbon didn't we yeah we don't want lisbon uh this would be a good port it's a class 5 port it gives us no advantages but it gives us a lot of stuff we could export too what we got here, no advantages, a lot of different stuff, luxury goods. I think we want something that's, uh, there's something that gives us an advantage, would be nice. But it doesn't look like any of these are going to give us an advantage. The only advantage is if we use like one of these smaller ports, it looks like. But these big ports aren't going to give us an advantage at all. Hmm. Class 2 port wouldn't be too bad. It's a class 3. Uh, yeah. I mean, we could go to Hamburg there. Dublin would be pretty decent, I think. The problem is if we're trying to go this way, um, got to go around to, you know, under. What we got here in Algiers? Not really anything. I mean, I feel like our best port of option would be be nice to have access to. I think we're gonna go with Hamburg here. Actually, we can get post Panamax ships in there. Twenty five percent duration on that. It just if we could get bigger ships into here, this would be a one go to. You know, but. I mean, we definitely got to do some repairs, so we're going to start here. Yeah, it looks like Jurassic Park here. Flying in on a helicopter. Mm -hmm. 
There's a busy shipping yard here. Is that thing moving by itself? What the? There's got to be an operator, and maybe up in in there. Looks like a window. It's a neat looking machine. Ah, Hamburg. It's supposed to be quite nice there for tourists, that is. But for a newbie in the uh, container shipping business, uh, well, not my problem. Do you actually have any ships in your fleet? Ooh, the tone is slightly getting tense, Chief. Not a good idea to joke around with her. There are three models to choose from at the wharf right now. The investor has thrown in enough money for us to afford one of them. Would you like it? Let's, let's take the tutorial. Alright, we got the buy ship menu. Now let's take a look at the ship specs boss. The ship belongs to the Frederick class. These are the smallest container ships. The larger classes are called Panamax, Post Panamax, New Panamax, and ULCB. Alright, this ship can carry 180 TEU. One TEU is a 20 foot equivalent unit. That is standard for a container. Below this is the maximum speed it'll do, which is 13 knots, almost 15 miles an hour. Here's the minimum range in days with a fuel full tank of fuel. If you have the ship sail solar, then the range will also increase, of course. And the ship's condition and its cost. Alright, thank you. Well, I think we definitely is I think he's pushing us for get to the medium one. Um I think when I actually started this game I went with the medium one also. Based on repairs, how much fuel it can handle, its speed, and how many units it can haul. So that is what we are going to go with as well as start. Alright. Let us name the ship. It is the iVision. Hmm. Oh, what should we call this guy? Let's we'll figure I'll figure out a name for this one. Um I think we can rename the ships later. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want our waiter ships to be called. And then that way I can uh, put them in and for, for later times. We'll call this the iVision. Hmm. What are we going to call this? I'm trying to think of ship names out there. We'll call it the iVision Mersk. To begin. Alright. That's good, I guess. Now let's go make some money. Pick up some contracts, ship some freight, and what are you waiting for? Time is money. My money. Well, it's all your money until I pay you off. Okay, boss. Now you need to hurry up and find a contract and get the ship to sea. Or, I mean, we, of course. Yes. That guy seems like, uh... I don't know what he seems like. Hello, I'm your agent, and I look after your contracts. I'm waiting for a meeting, but I can give you a quick... Alright, for example, the company Stall AG wants to ship metal. I see that. They pay us that for that much weight. Alright. Yes, we know what T. Okay, wait, and the contract is measured in tons and given as dead weight tonnage. The value of the contract is yes, we know. Like I said, the whole lot needs to go to Dublin and Ireland. I see that. Alright, I guess. Yes, we don't need the tutorial anymore. I guess that's what we're going to be taking. We have a, f I was going to say, we have a full tank of gas. Alright, this is what we're shipping off. We just signed off on her. Let's check out our ship here. We could make uh, modifications to her. Uh, of course, we don't have the funds for any of this stuff. Oh, we can get a little bit more range out of that, or we could also extend our license for uh, some some other goods. But we're not doing any of that, so let's uh, let's cast this ship off here. Uh, because we don't have much funds, we only have two hundred sixty-two thousand dollars or euros. Uh, we're going to manually cast our ship off after we figure out its destination port, which is in Dublin here. We are going to travel. We have to get there in 10 days. So. Oh, wait. No, we don't have to get there in 10 days. I'm sorry. We need to get there in 7 days. So we are... 
When do we have to get there? I don't know when we have to get there, to be honest. She does not say. I think it said we have to be there in seven. So. We will go at nine. We'll go at half power. That'll get us there. And uh, let's. That should be good. Let's cast off. I'll have to make sure that I'm reading that right for uh, days that we have to get there in. I do remember at one point. I don't remember now. <clears throat> and we do have to compare fuel prices. Yes, we do. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on that. Alright, that's a quick little load here. <clears throat> so let's get this, uh, this ship out of here. And uh, we need to back her up, I believe. And uh, I think uh, we got to go that way. So straight out shouldn't be a bad idea. If you can see our ship here, this is what we purchased. And there it is, the iVision Mersk. So we're going to slow out of here and then we will uh, pick up speed <clears throat> once we clear the, uh, the dock here. Let's start swinging her around the little bit, like so. She definitely just looks like she's just gliding more than anything. But we will uh, get, him, uh, get her out of here. That is the only view we have. I cannot get us any closer or anything like that. That is weird. Uh, we are very close to damage point, which is not good. Uh, definitely got to keep an eye on that, because then uh, we won't be allowed into port, because our ship is too, uh, we'll say, polluty. You know, with regulations for pollution and all that, depending on where you're headed. But let's increase uh, our speed now. Uh, five knots will be good. This is a slow process here. It's about the slowest process of the whole game, obviously. But... Uh, where we're headed to is this dot over here. Yeah. That looks like all we can zoom out on our little mini map here. But we should probably uh, keep an eye on where we're going here. We have to start our turn. We've definitely got a nice wide berth here to, to get through. I don't see any other ships in sight. At least yet. You know, zoom out of here. It's cloudy day that is for sure it's a little cloudy or hazy out there alright we are now uh, we are now clear of the dock in the town so we will bring her up to the maximum that she will allow us to go out of here which is nine knots which is not our maximum remember our maximum for this ship is 13 knots so That'll be good. She does seem a little choppy, doesn't she? I don't have to... Uh, it's weird. Hmm. Just maybe just not optimized at the, uh, the in-depth level there. Which is interesting. But yeah, she was running a little choppy there. Um, maybe I'll uh, adjust some settings. Yeah. We'll see here. These games definitely... Uh, lower quality games aren't optimized very well but excellent job your maneuvering skills are admirable all right from here on you're in charge boss find the best contracts bank the rewards explore the most profitable routes and keep an eye on the condition of your ship i yes i will my share is due the quarter after next and i'll be asking you for it promptly i'm confident you'll do well work hard if you want to grow big that's exactly how i made it Alright, so there is our ship. We're running at 9 knots. We will arrive in 6 days. So. And we have to actually be there in 5. So we should uh, increase our speed to the full 13 knots. And we can watch our ship go on the screen here. And whoop, whoop, we'll just fast forward like so and uh, we'll click and we will dock our ship for the for ourselves 
Oh, this will be a nice, should be a quick, easy dock. Eh? There's obviously certain areas that are nicer than others to pull into. We got our ships waiting for us. The Eye Vision Mersk. All right, let's pull her in. We don't need a. We're gonna head in at eight knots. Let's zoom this guy, this little mini map, out a little bit here. Let's just make sure. Let's see if we can see what's going on here. Not a whole lot, so that's good. Start our turn. Oh, there's another ship. So let's uh, decrease our speed here. Um, see what we got. Oh, boy, that's a big one. That is a big one. So, honk our horn. Let them know that we're coming. We'll get over a little bit more. She's. She looks like she might have stopped for us. Um, we're just probably waiting for our butt to get out of the way. But, should be clear now. And we are actually going to back into our dock. So, we need to get out of its way, so it can get out of our way. Give it a nice little sound off there. Oh yeah, look at that thing. That thing's a beauty compared to us. Woo, what a beauty. All right. Now, uh, now it's going to start going, and we are going to make our turn here. We're going to cut her hard over, and we are going to try and back in. But this could be uh, could be bad. Let's let's get some more speed here. All right. Now let's swing her hard over. She's hard over now, and we're slowly backing her in. We just got to keep an eye on this corner here. Obviously, we got to keep an eye on that side, but I think that'll be fine. We'll clear that easy. Now it's just swinging her around here like so. Backing her in. She's still hard over. This is a very delicate process. We don't want to cause damage to the ship or to the dock. And we obviously don't have the funds to call in for a, uh, a tug. So, At least for a while here we will be doing this manually. Once we start getting more ships, start bringing in more money, we can call in the tugs. But, alright. Now that she's in, let's swing her. Actually, let's let's swing her a little bit harder over, like so. All right. All right. Now let's go forward here, and uh, we'll bring her in just a little closer. Get her into the green here. Or into our little zone. All right, let's swing that butt in. And there she is. So that is how you uh, bring a ship into port manually. All right, so on that journey, after fuel costs, we ended up bringing in 149,500 euros. So that's not a bad start. Definitely not a great start. Uh, my tub's a mess. Alright, well, uh, here's a fuel level. We don't have a tub. Did it say tug? Yeah, we don't have a tug, though, either. We got a, we got a ship, okay? There's our... Alright, we'll click on it. Oh, man, that's expensive fuel here. Woo! I see that. We don't want any fuel. We'll, we'll get like 10. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Repairs will take, uh, after all, we can't, yep, yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, we don't need it. We don't want our ship to be in, so. Well, it looks like it's going to make us, huh? Alright, we'll bring it up to 60. There we go. Yeah, we know about docking now. Yes, we are done. So a deadline contract isn't a bad thing. I can show you show what you have to look out for with these after. Uh, we don't need that. So contract. Uh, yeah, see, we don't need contract deadlines though. Definitely don't. And we got our reputation. So this is where we're going to end this episode. Uh, well, next episode there we'll check out the uh, our ship will fully be repaired. We'll have some fuel in her. And we will look at the contracts here and uh, see where we're going to head to next. So remember guys hit that like button if you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like my other videos. And as always guys thanks for watching. Have a great day.